Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are as we're just getting the fertilizer hooked up. We got some fertilizing work to do. But one thing has happened. If we look on the top recording screen, if I look, we got 1.4 million. And that was because of the approval from the bank to have a loan. So we got approval of 1.365 mil, so just shy of 1.4 mil. I was initially was looking for a small loan, but then I thought, let's go a bit big with things. Let's go and expand some stuff in that. So, basically, the entire farm is up as collateral damage, including all of our fields. So, hopefully, this works out well for us. I've got absolutely no idea. But, as you can guess from the thumbnail, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be buying our second farm. And this will be used as a actual farm, as we'll use regularly. As we just go and buy some stuff. So yeah, this farm here is going to be more of the centre hub of all of our equipment, where it's stored, where it's based. It's not too far away from Court Farm Country Park. However, because this is a country park, we do run a small business of managing this, so you know, we need to be a bit careful of that. That's why we got this as well. It's gonna be our second business to have. Actually, I think that's our third business, because we're we're a contractor, we are a farmer, and everything that employs with that's separate to be the contractor. And also we manage a camping business, so we are diversifying our incomes even more, so... So yeah, we're going to do this one, this one... I think that's the right one there, so that's got... That's the workshop. Now which one of these has got the... I should think it would help if you have animals turned on. So yeah, that's the ones you all yeah, you want the sheep here, so that's gonna be an, another thing as well. We want to expand the animals. Obviously what we got here is alright. But I want to go more, I want to go big out, so that's why we've done that. Also we did say we was gonna buy this field for oats. And we were looking at one of these bigger fields here, so we've got rapeseed in that field. We've got this field here, which is just a purely massive grassland. Or do we buy another plot of land? Only downside to that one is access, because I think, yeah, there's no real access way. Because you can go for a little lane here before it divides by the hedgerows to get to field 6. Unless there's a way around. But otherwise, worst case scenario, we have to go up the road and down. So, ooh. Yeah, that's not going to be another thing. You know what? Heck, let's go buy that. Also, do you apologize if I sound a bit groggy? Been recovering from a bit of a cold in that last few days, so. But yeah, so we're going to have a little look at that in a f bit. So, I did say we've got fertilizer we need to do. So, if we go to fertilize, then we just have a look here. So, pretty sure they got nothing in. Yep, they got nothing. That's got nothing in yet but so what about our wheat I should know that is fully fertilized but 53 now need fertilizing we just pull out fields has that got anything in it no it has not so head down here with the Massey that's going to be another thing as well is plant season is going to be underway So if we have a look here, let's get to 53. Let's go around to 54. 
But it's also good is since we've actually got 52, we can go through here and just actually, yeah, use it. Also, yeah, I am tempted to put a copy of a farm path in. It's got a bar in. Yeah, see. 98% yield bonus, so all these fields that we bought be well looked after for, well cared for, so I think that's what matters with that, so yeah, so 53 is up here Ooh, that's got weeds in everywhere, that is damn, that's got a lot of weeds We need to roll the fields first of all, actually. But obviously, it needs to be sprayed in that. Unless we. What do we do here? Cause yeah, it's cultivated. Could do with rolling it to get that seabed. So, yeah, I'm not sure. But you also got. What's this here? Oh, farm sign to remove. We'll do that in a bit. So yeah, I'm thinking, if we get the roller out, can we roll these weeds away? Or do we need to rip them up then with a cultivator again? I do wonder, so bear with me a sec. Whilst I just put this up just around here. And there's the roller. I was find out which shed I left this in, so... Can we hook it up, please? Nope. Ooh. Can we just gently persuade that? There we go. Just gently move it back far enough so we can get the pin hooked in. There we go. Careful of not hitting anything. It's reverse. And there we go. So, yeah. Hopefully, we can just roll the weeds in. That's what would work. What should we need to be mulched? Well, I was wondering what was in there, but yes. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. Will this work? Or We'll need to convert this into a mulcher. I don't think so, because it's been cultivated and there's just weeds growing. Worst case scenario, if this doesn't work, is just a case of getting the herbicide sprayer out, and then we just simply have to put at least one application of. Oops, didn't go through there. One, two applications down of herbicide round and one. Yeah, I don't know. I've never come across that problem before because usually when we do our farm prep work now, we don't get weeds growing after the fields has been cultivated, so... Oh, you know, so, yeah, anyways... We'll get this unpacked. And we'll see. And with that ready, let's go and see. So, does this work. No. Didn't think so, to be honest. Because, yeah, even though we're getting that seabed, of course, yeah, it makes sense, it does, so there are some rocks. How big are the rocks on this field here? So, if we go over to soil composition under stones, That's some pretty big rocks. Yeah, actually, well, a lot of these fields are quite heavily peppered with rocks. Especially compared to our fields where we've been the crafted really well. And yeah, for the most part, nothing. But yes, do we... Do we open the rock picker? If not, that's possibly something we could look into purchasing. Uh, let's have a look. 
no, so what we're going to have to do is borrow the rock picker. If we can find that. Uh, steam pickers. Borrow this one. Black wheels, why not? Chunky tires, flotations, why not? So for three three hundred, that is pretty expensive. Of course, actually, what we could do is if we leave the roller here, we could rock pick, fertilize, and then yeah, just whack down, get the seabed sorted with the roller and that. <sighs> Sorry about that, but. If, that's the cold bins that are kicking in, so... Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So yeah, we'll get it done. And then we'll start looking at our brand new farm. There we go, we are done with the work. Eventually, yeah, figured out we need just a herb slice for the field. That's why I full thought I'll try some other options to get away with. But, anyways, that field has been what's been it's been herb sided, it's been fertilized, and it has been rock picked as well. But, yeah, we'll come back to the farm with the fence. Because in the last episode, in one well, two episodes, I think it was, hard to recall, as it's been about weeks since I've recorded anything at the moment, so. Ooh. Springing boy there. But yeah, anyways, we got 30,000 years of wheat and 20,000 years of fertilizer. Fertilizer makes sense of why we've got that. But the wheat, 
That is purely for chicken feed. Obviously, we're going to have some wheat anyways over the summer. Well, I should know more into the fall, I think it is. Ooh, stop, 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 stop. And put the brakes on. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, yeah, this is a bit of a heavy load here. You know, these pads are absolutely heavy, like four tons, 4.2 tons per pallet. That is per pallet. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, five, we've got ten. So, we're, yeah, we're pulling like 40 tons here. Come on, so. If, I, if that math was correct, <laughs> I'm actually not sure if that math was correct or not, but anyways, come on, just we'll unload the fertilizer on first of all, and that should fill this up to capacity. And the wheat, we will come through here. It's actually where is the chicken? Well, all right, fair enough. Chicken feed is here, the trough. So then, whatever's left over, we'll just store it. But also, with this new farm, we're going to be expanding everything. Sheep, chicken, even get rabbits. We'll get rabbits on both farms in. Is that full or what? No, it's not full. Come on, boy. You've still got a bit more room there. Take it. Take the damn pallet. Come on. Alright, fine. It'll be difficult. Fine. Just, we'll leave you. Go. Sayonara. Au revoir. Ah, so now we're doing a million point turn. Alright, fine. Just push this out the way. A little horsepower. That's why we've got a 500 horsepower tractor. It's for situations like this. Now, but anyway, so yeah, chickens. I know we will consume more of this. I know that. So the rest will be just put into silo. Squish chicks. I don't need to be squished. Not quite squished with nuggets yet. You become with nuggets at later on, but not at the moment. That's why I'm having squ squished chicken McNuggets. I don't think you'd be very YouTube friendly. Do you think? Yeah, I think they agree with me on that point, but... So yeah, that is... Hopefully the chickens will fed. Yeah, 10,000 litres. That's going to last us a while. And as a small thing with animals capacity, it makes sense like this farm here. Even though it's sort of being seen as the main farm, there's a purpose to it. It's not just because of... Like how it is first. Okay, it's a country park, so it is a farm. But also, it has that tourism bit area. So, for example, in real life, Aussie Court Farm Country Park is a real place you can go visit. I've been there once on a Biker Bros wedding. Because that's one of those things as well. They just do other little things, they do events and all that. But also, they, of course, run a farm, have a farm in that. But obviously, you can't really have anything too overly heavy farming, like on a grand scale, because having a grand scale business requires some little details here and there with working. And one of the things us in the UK we're very known for is health and safety. And not for the good thing, it's health and safety gone mad. As a certain famous automotive British TV show once mentioned. If you know, you know. But anywho, so yeah, we've got 10,000 litres left here. And I am adamant we're going to have to get these in. One way or another. Even if that means me crushing to the fence. Come on. Crush into the fence with the fence. Come on. Go. Come on! We're do this. You will move. Not if you're not attached. 
bear with me whilst I do a bit of video magic here. And for the power of editing, we are free, so... This is going to co uh, co cooperate with us. There is some room for fertilizer. Just go in. Hey, it moved. It went down. There we go. Nope. Rolls will is hitbox. <laughs> and it's taking both pallets. That's good. That's what we want. Thank you. Ah, oh, bloody things sometimes. But yeah, so what we're going to do next is get the plow on hooked up. Uh, I think first of all we'll t have a quick tour of Steambridge Farm. It's going to take all of it. Yippee! Yep. But yeah, we'll take a tour of Steambridge Farm. And then we'll go around and start working that new field. And that's why we've kept the stone picker, is because we're going to be plowing that other field. Which of course means we'll get stones. I think if you do get stones, it won't be small stones. However, I hear they makes our life easier. It prevents wear on equipment. As well, it helps with things like reducing the risk of punctures and that. Because, yeah, not, not all stones are the same. As you may know. If not, now you know. Uh, yeah, so... Just getting picked. That's what makes the feels look more nice. If that's all the thing most important, it makes it look nice. As immediately, we went the wrong way. You always go left. But in a hue. It is left, right? Yeah, it is left. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, the last thing I notice is a couple of areas we miss with our big old cultivation rolling session. I don't think it was last episode, I think it was the episode before end. I think actually, in fairness, I was recording this on Monday. The last episode will only just gone out tomorrow as I've been recording this. As when this comes out, it'll be yesterday, so yeah. But anywho. As we are approaching our brand new farm, and that's the things we're going to be doing is just moving things around. Steambridge Farm. Steambridge Farm? People! People! Steambridge Farm. But yeah, so, as we talked about in the last episode, pretty sure it was, we ran around with all the other farms around, and we came to agreement on this was the best area. Just in terms of equipment storage and maneuverability. So, yeah, we've got access to a grass field here. And there are other areas we can purchase and buy if we want to. For example, if we have a look at the PDA. If we go to here, I think like this area here is a horse pasture. And I think that one there is for pigs. That's just a little general area, but yeah, we could go for it. We could actually, it's not one of those fields where we can. One knows was that the pigs? Okay, that's the pigs here. Is this one of those areas where we can sell the pasture? If we can, nice. Because, yep. Yeah. Well, it seems to be susceptible, and that would be a good, little, decent sized field. Got gate access here, and access via this main path here, so. We bring the combine forward and that. I mean, heck, it, this could be a good, little grass field. Whilst this could be converted into a field. That's the thing, depends on if the grass here is used for grazing or if the cows are interested in the barns. Alright, you know what? That's what we'll do. So, yeah, this will be converted into a small field. Oh, I 
I should have removed the sheep as well. But yeah, we're not going to remove the sheep because I want to keep the sheep in. And as much as I want to, you know, do it ourselves. I think that's the amount of sheep as this is going to have. Actually, all I'm going to do is turn on interactive markers. I know, this is the horse pasture area, which we didn't own, so... Yep, let's close that before everyone accuses of trespassing. But yeah, you know what, let's just go do it now, straight away. Let's buy all the animals we're going to need, so... Sheep, 200, so... And I think for these, we'll say heck it. We're just going to buy them. Dang it, I made a mistake already. Whoa! They're aged 30 months? Yeah. 30 months, oh, yeah, I didn't pay attention, but... 30 months. Eight, yeah, that's what I thought. So I thought, yeah, let's get some Black Welsh Mountains. 30 months old, damn, no. We'll have 108, that seems a good number. After wasting how much money on excessive, <laughs> unnecessarily. Yeah, so yeah, they'll need water, they'll need food. But food for these aren't going to be an issue. And that's what I'm thinking with our decision of not having a grass field may come and bite us in the rear end. So I think this is the rabbit area. But you know what? Heck it. Let's get some baby rabbits. Why not? So, alright, that's there. So I don't guess we know. This is going to be the cows, and yeah. Alright, fair enough with these. Uh, yeah, 18 months. These are what the ones we're thinking of. And I think in, in reality, uh, we can get some not as aged cows like these ones, 12 months. I'm selling for when they're hit puberty, and I'm still getting a profit. Maybe, just maybe. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Heck it. I'm gonna go for it. Let's just get a bunch of balls in. So, yeah, that is 200 Anguses. And they're going to need food as well. But yeah, worst case scenario... Do we buy just some cheap TMR, I think? We do have a mixer, and I do have some equipment in, but... I just want to make sure we do have the mixer. As we just spent all of our bloody money. So yeah, we've got the bathers, forge wagon... Yep, yeah, so that came in, we bought that off camera in another episode. And we've just received delivery of that, so next time, or at least probably the episode after, we'll have a huge TMR making session. So that's that. That's that. Lastly, we need to do the chickens. Oh, chickens are going there. Workshop, good to know. Ah, we met chickens here. Say so yes. Sweet. And yeah, if, if not for these, I'm not too worried about. I shall sell one. Because we do need a cock in here. There we go. Keep the ladies in check. But yeah, so. <laughs> That was interesting, and out of our loan, we're down to just 44 grand. Correction, I'll be even less than that, so... 
buy some TMR. Mix rations. I'll say... How big is our trader? Okay, I've got the 50,000 the year for his trader, but... Actually, how big is that? That can hold TMR, so... 30,000 the year, so you know what? That's how much TMR we'll get, so... And I will hold him off for the time being. Uh, yeah, so... We're already tall. There we go. So, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So, yep. Now, what I've done. Okay, yep. This is used for grazing. They're not in the barn, as I thought. Actually, that also means they require milk. Do not milk. They produce milk, but require water, so that's going to be another thing as well. Uh, if we get to drone out, is there a pond or a stream nearby? Remains of a stream. Whether or not we can get water from this, I do not know. I'm trying to think, is there any other water source? Answer to that is a resounded. Nope. So, either we can fill up from this little stream here. There is water in there. Oops. Unless we just bounce our thing there as we do. Let's see it. Come out of here. There is water here, right? Yep, sloshing off the boots, so before it goes into this culvert, under the road, and then back out again. Well, yeah, I don't know, but anyways, before we go and start plowing up the field, we'll do that next week as we head into March, but for now, Let's go and take food over. Yeah, we need to take food over. We need to collect the TMR and everything else. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, it's all done. And I'll see you folks in March.
Alright, so right the hell, we have been very busy. A lot more things done off camera. Just get things transferred over. We're down to 12,800, and that's after sending the line gas back into the black. So, yeah, first of all, we've got all of our seed and stuff out here ready. That's because we've got contracts to do. So, we've got some certain ones to do. And one planting contracts. We do have some for as contracts. If they last long enough and see there, then yeah, we'll do those, but you never know. So, yeah, let's go to our animals. They have been fed. Oh, no, that's our court farm sheep, so yeah. They are already producing wool there. Go down here. Rabbits are doing alright. They require nothing f for the grass or hay, which we gave them. Chickens are doing alright at the moment. And our cows, so yeah, 200 cows. We bought a bit more TMR in the end. And yeah, done the rough calculation, as they are at the moment, they'll consume about 160-ish thousand litres a year, so not too bad. And bottom they're adults. Ah, uh, yeah, I read that they'll consume that much more, so. There's things like, at the moment, we've got 800,000 years of soil just sitting there. We've got tons of straw. The only thing we're short on is hay. So, we're taking these three bells here. That was with the other cows initially. I'm sure one of you don't remember to do, because I had workers on. Turn. Oops. Do I look at that? Turn the hat back on. Yeah, traffic's back on. So yeah, anywho. Got a few more bells here and you want heck here we'll just go through over here. But yeah, the campsite is looking a pretty much dead. Like went into March, and as you know, a lot of people was packed up and gone. So at the moment business ain't really booming for that. But come the day of spring and into the summer, I'm sure we we'll get more customers back. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. But, yeah, as I've been around, just doing bits and bobs here and there, I've been having ideas of things like some of these sheds over here. We can use these to store bells and that, so then we get our grass or hay bells. They'll most likely be hay bells. But yeah, hey who? Just go for a sec, I could give these sheep the rest of these bells here. Hopefully that should get topped up. If it doesn't, then you want to be it. Hey who? Ooh, there we go. That is consuming one. And that's consumed both of them, so. They still, technically still need more food, but how much do they really need? Ah, uh, not a lot. You know what, we'll leave that for now. And that's because if we head over to here, if we have a look, we've got the John Deere 6250R, we've got the Merce up over here, and we're blocking the road. Sorry. We've got the wind rower. We've got a tether that we're demoing from the deer ship. That's going to cost us £500 at the moment per week in that. In game week has over 100 yen. Oops. Dang it. My bad. Sorry. So yeah, for the first week of March, this will cost us £500 to demo. So hopefully we can get that done within this week. But yeah, we've got planting to do, we've got scene to do. And not just our fields, but the contract business as well. Because even though we're going to have a lot more plates, 
We've got over a million quid in debt to pay off. And yeah, we do own this field, but we do have permission to have as a agricultural access and just as a little staging area in a corner. Actually, how much would that be to buy? 152 grand. Not too bad, but I'd rather start paying off our debts than do anything else, so we'll keep the 10 grand we've got at the moment. Or just paying off the deer ship. Uh, so yeah, we'll get this mode because we can mow this. It is meadow grass, so we'll get too much out of it. But we'll get some grass, and some grass is better than new grass, so... Because yes, we got all of this, so... Yeah, it's like, first of all, I thought, heck it, just rip it up, convert it into a grass field. But yeah, so it's got some aspects of where it can be cut, so... I thought, you know what, heck it. So yeah, we've got the bather, wind rover, tether, got the whole shebang. I was even going to get all this done in this episode. I think, you know what, let's make a start of it, so, you know what? I think this would be a good way to end the episode, is to do a quick time lapse, get us all done, and then we'll start prepping to do some contracts. Heck it, start doing some of these contracts to get them done. Because we also need to do our own seeding and planting for this year. And a lot of them will be planted in March. But at least at the areas is March where we get done. The quicker it'll come to harvest. There we go, we are done pretty much with all the work needed. 
Now all we've got to do is just build this grass, pick it up, and move it about. And yeah, so overall it didn't take us too long to do it, I think. Certainly a lot faster than it initially full. Yeah, the John Deere can do with a bit of a service, because it's like, what? 80% born? Almost 74% born. Look like about a quarter, maybe a quarter or two percent left. But for now, it's fine. Yeah, the only small effect we had with it, with our equipment so far, is with the Mercer up losing about a mile an hour. But if we have a look here, go to beaters, 245, and it's beating at 13 miles an hour, so we're beating. So it struggles to get up to speed, but once he's up to speed, he does it yet the 13 or 40 miles an hour. He's like 30.7 it does it. Or 30 whatever, and just rounds up occasionally to 40 miles an hour. But yeah, overall, I am not complaining, so we're doing double the size bells as we would do standard. See so yeah, that is about 16,000 litres I think it is of hay per bell. So yeah we're going to get a lot of bells from this. And then it should be a case of moving it around and then just transferring it where it's needed. So I think for now we'll just sort of it at Stonebridge Farms. Now when we get doing the big old TMR mixing session in about a couple of episodes time, that's when we can just bring some up when we need to and just ease off, combine that with the tail handler, the mix wagon and all that. We can have plenty full of TMR making, I think. With the 800,000 litres of TMR we got, plus with the hay we get from this, combine that with the straw. I think we can make quite a bit of at least, if I had to guess, roughly about 2 million litres of TMR, give or take. 1.5 to 2 mil. Definitely, without a shadow of a doubt. Obviously, that depends on how many heat bells we get in the end of this, so... Yeah, that's going to be a thing as well, it just keeps off. We can get enough hay in that. Because you have to use the hay and the short to pad it out. They're cheap, they're easy to get. Compared to silage, easier work to do. Get it quicker technically, so you don't have to wait a month for it to ferment, just bait it, windrow bait it, whatever it's head it, depends if it's straw or hay and yeah, get it quite instantly. Yeah with straw too you have to wait for a crop to harvest but yeah, that would be an issue for us. Like, even if we run out of straw now, we've got to have enough TMR for the year. Easy for the next two years, which is a good thing. So that can help us with sort of the longevity of the series because we do want to keep the series going we'll just do things here and there you know maybe go to 50 episodes if we can or halfway there already and yeah we've still got plenty of work to go but the cows he got to grow up yet but yeah I think going with the decision of the cows and sheep it's definitely worth it. Cheap, we get them all straight away, and when we need to, we can just replace them whenever. Cows, they will work, but overall, in the long run, it's going to be worth it again. Just as how much profit they're going to bring us once they're fully grown in about a year and a half time. So, come winter next year, they'll be ready to sell. But yeah, I know this we did say about what I said about start doing some contract work. I 
think that we'll leave out for the next episode. And this is a good way to end up just doing the bathing. We're about half done already. So, how many bells is that at the moment we've done? Ah, we don't get the. Ah, dang it, I'm not We don't get the counter. Oh, yeah, so that's one bell there. We have the ground. Two. Three. Four. more rounds four so yeah I think yeah, overall we get about ten bells ten twelve bells and this being sixteen thousand liters yeah so that's enough for now and I think if we keep this field in particular as a grass field just for the rest of the year we get enough hay for I won't say the remainder of the series, but I'll definitely say for the foreseeable future. So if we plant grass in this month, we get another cut in May, get another cut in July, and then from then in July we can either do continue on what we're doing, or we'll wait till September and we can do winter wheat, barley, rapeseed, oats. Or linseed or rye. First, I did, did say we were going to do fill beans. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. That's we've got so much work to do. And I think with the fill beans, now, if we do it straight away now, with the fills we've got ready, like by the far enough we're going to be using them for. Make sense so we can just quickly branch out and do the contracts because we did agree with all the contracts that we done this month. There's no particular time frame they wanted, they just said well it's done within the month of March, they're fine, ideally within the first couple of weeks, so we're already at the end of the first week of March. At least we still get a bit of daylight, like usually by now if it's during the winter in the last few episodes. Maybe you almost like pitch black almost, or start losing light. The sun starting to set. But yeah, we still have daylight for another three hours or so. But yeah, anyways, as I said, that's where I'll really leave for today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share it, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for to do, I hope you're listening. And for now, it's been far more ever extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.